If you want to learn how to start an AirPods case business with Printful and Shopify, then I'm going to share with you how to do just that in this Printful Shopify tutorial 2022. Let's go. I won't stop. No, 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 no. First step in this Printful Shopify tutorial 2022, it's gonna be clicking the link pinned in the comments where you're gonna get access to this page, all right? So once you're here, all you have to do is click on this button right here that says start selling. You're gonna be brought up to this page. All you have to do is sign up with your Google account, okay? If you wanna sign up with Facebook, you can, or with Apple. All right, you can sign up with your email right here as well. But I'm gonna click on sign up with Google. Once you're all signed up with Printful, you're gonna have access to this page right here where you can actually connect to a platform. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be sharing with you Shopify. You can click on choose platform and you can click on connect. You're gonna be brought up to this page. All you have to do is go right here where it says get the app. Once you get to this page, all you're gonna wanna do is go right here to the top right and click on sign up follow through with the details so you can have access to your 14 day free trial with shopify once you're all connected we can move on to the next step after you signed up with shopify you selected a plan and bought a new domain and decorated your theme now it's time to add products to your printful store all you're going to want to do is go right here where it says apps click on printful and you're going to be brought up to a page that looks like this all you're going to want to do is click right here where it says add product after you click on add product you're going to be brought up to the screen all you have to do is scroll down and as you can see the airpods case is right there and if you don't see it there all you have to do is go right here to accessories click on earphone cases and as you can see the airpods case is right there so i'm going to go ahead and click on airpods case the next thing you're going to want to do right is right here at the top left it says product info pricing and guidelines you're going to want to click on that and right here to the right it's going to say print file templates click on that what you're going to want to do is click on download and as you can see the zip file downloaded right here to the bottom left Real quick, if you like content like this, make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm along with the subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any future uploads. Also, let me know in the comment section below what print on demand products you plan on selling. Now with that out the way, let's move on with today's tutorial. So after you downloaded the print file template, the next step would be to open up Adobe Illustrator. If you don't have Adobe Illustrator, I highly recommend it for your print on demand business, all right? So once you're here on this page, all you're gonna wanna do is click right here where it says open. You can go to downloads and you're gonna wanna find that file with the print file templates. So right here, I'm gonna click on AirPods case guideline, click on templates, and as you can see, there's two type of AirPod templates, okay? So there's the regular AirPods and the AirPods Pro. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the regular AirPods, okay? So I'm gonna go to front and make sure it's the PSD. You're gonna wanna follow the same process, okay, for the AirPods Pro. So I'm gonna click on AirPods front PSD, click on open, and I'm gonna click on okay. Make sure it's convert layers to objects, click on okay. And I'm gonna hit command plus just to size it up, all right? So I'm gonna move this over just like so. So pretty much our safe zone, right? It's gonna be inside these red lines. And as you can see, there's like a green borderline. Okay, we wanna make sure that our design is actually inside of this, all right? So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color of this first thing, right? So I'm gonna click on this rectangle tool. I'm gonna left click right here on the top corner and I'm actually gonna drag it right across, all right? And I'm gonna bring it down just like so. And right here to the left, I'm gonna double click on this fill box and I'm actually gonna choose all black, all right? I'm gonna click on okay. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is click on this selection tool right here. Go over to properties, right here where it says opacity. I'm gonna bring that down, okay? Just like so. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in a design. Real quick, if you want access to 10 free PNG designs and 11 AI files where you can easily go in, open up those files in Adobe Illustrator and create even more designs, then make sure you click the link in the description box below so that way you can get access to those files. And if you would like unlimited access to over 5 million fonts and designs for just $1 your first month, then make sure you click the link in the description box below where you can get access to Creative Fabrica. After your first month, it'll be $19 a month, which comes down to 35% discounted. Again, the link will be in the description box below. Now with all that said, let's move on with today's tutorial. All you're gonna wanna do is actually locate a design. So I'm gonna click right here on Finder, 
I'm gonna scroll down to find my hard drive and I'm gonna locate these designs. So I'm gonna grab this design right here and I'm gonna drag it in to Adobe Illustrator. And as you can see, this is the front of the AirPods case, okay? So I'm gonna drop it in and as you can see, it's oversized. So all I'm gonna do is just bring it down. You wanna make sure that the selection tool is selected when you're doing that, all right? So I'm gonna bring it down all the way to the corner, just like so. I'm gonna hold down shift, I'm gonna left click, and I'm gonna size it down. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you see that there's like a little white line on the outer box here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that this rectangle tool goes all the way across, okay? Just like so, make sure that everything is connected. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this design, okay? Now if you wanna make sure that it's centered, right here to the right, there's a button right here that says horizontal align center. Click on that, just like so. And if you wanna bring it down just a bit, you can do that as well, just like that. And I can just click on that, okay? You can also click on vertical align center and horizontal align center. So as you can see, the design is placed. So the next step in this process, right, is actually clicking on this outer part, going to opacity, and bringing that all the way up to 100. So if we click out of that, as you can see, our design is in the dead center. So the next step in this process is going over to file, clicking on open, and we're gonna go back down to downloads, locating our AirPod templates, and we're gonna click on back, PSD, all right? And click on open. Click on okay, hit command plus, just to bring it up. Now what we're gonna wanna do is follow the same entire process, right? Click on this rectangle tool. Okay, I'm gonna left click, drag it all the way across, just like so, and bring it down, okay? Now we may have to bring this all the way up so that way everything connects just like that. So right here to the left, you want to double click on this fill box and I'm going to change the color to black. Click on OK. Now what we're going to want to do is bring in a design. So I'm going to click on my finder and I'm going to locate another design. So I'm going to bring in this one right here. If the design comes in as a large design, all you want to do is make sure you click on the selection tool and bring that design all the way down so you see the corner. All right, so now that I sized the design down, and as you can see, our actual square here is actually darkened. I forgot to lower the opacity, so what I'm gonna do is do that. So remember, it's under properties, under appearance, click on opacity, and just bring it down, okay? Just like so. After you do that, you wanna make sure you bring in the design, just like that. You can click on align center, okay? And vertical center. And as you can see, everything looks aligned. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is click on this outer part here, click on opacity, and you can bring it up. Mind you, you can add other things, right? If you wanna add other little graphics, like stars or whatever, you can do that as well, just like so. And once you bring in one star and you have it highlighted, all you have to do is hit Command C and Command B, okay? And you can do that multiple times, okay? So once you're satisfied with how it looks, all you have to do is click right here on this outer part, click on opacity, and you wanna bring that all the way up to 100, okay? All right, so once you have your design set for the front and back of the AirPods case, what you're gonna to wanna to do, right, is click on where it says front PSD right above here, and you're gonna to wanna to click on this outer part. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on delete. You can click on this part right here, right behind it as well, and click on delete. Now you can go on file, go to export, export as, leave it the way it is, I'm just gonna type in number one, click on export, and you're gonna be brought up to a page that looks like this. All you're gonna wanna do is click on okay. Go right here to the AirPods back, click on that. Make sure the outside is highlighted and click on delete. And you can do the same thing for the background with the red dotted lines. Just click on the edge part, click on delete. And as you can see, the design with the stars is right in the center, okay? Now what we're gonna do is go to file, go to export, export as, I'm gonna click right here behind back, space it out, number one, click on export. You're gonna be brought up to a page that looks like this. All you're gonna wanna do is click on okay. Now we're gonna come back over here to Printful. Right here, we can choose our colors. We can choose black, navy blue, red. We have another uh, sky blue, we have gray, and so on. I'm just gonna choose black for this tutorial. So right here, as you can see, it says front, and it says drop your design here. So I'm gonna click on that, click on upload new file. I'm gonna locate my design. Click on open, now I'm gonna click on apply. And as you can see, our design is placed right there. Now I'm gonna click on back, drop your design here, click on upload new file, locate my design, click on open, click on apply. And as you can see, our design is placed right there. If we take a look right here to the left for the print quality, you wanna make sure it's in the green. And as you can see, it says good 289 DPI. 
Now what we can do is click on proceed to media. So there's a message that pops up. It says designs for each product size need to be adjusted separately. Something for you to keep in mind, all right? So I'm gonna click on got it. Click on proceed to media. And now we're brought up to the mock-up preview page, okay? As you can see right here to the left, it says all mock-ups. You can pretty much choose whichever one you want, right? So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on proceed to details. And you wanna name your actual AirPods case, okay? So I'm gonna put example number one airpods case but you want to actually title it for seo purposes all right so you want to make sure that you have a good descriptive title and a well descriptive description for your airpods cases all right so once you're done with that you can add tags if you like you can choose a collection and you can proceed to pricing so right here once you're on this page as you can see printful's price 9.95 so if we sell it for retail 14 dollars we're gonna make a profit of four dollars so let's say you want to sell it for 20 dollars profit is gonna be ten dollars and five cents so i'm gonna go to airpods pro click on 20 just like so and i'm gonna click on submit to store all right so once our product is uploaded right here to the right you can click on edit you can click on this arrow right here to the right right where it says mock-up you want to click on preview and you want to view full size I'm gonna hit command plus I'm gonna take a screenshot of this so I'm gonna hit command shift 5 I'm gonna hit capture now if we come back over to Shopify click on this eyeball next to online store scroll all the way down as you can see our airpods case is right there now if you want to create some high converting product images I'm gonna highly recommend Glorify to you guys. It is the ultimate design tool for all your e-com images. Link to Glorify will be in the description below. I'm gonna click on login. So once you signed up with Glorify, right here in the search bar, I'm gonna type in Shopify. And if you look right here, it says lifestyle image. I'm gonna click on that. As you can see, there's 310 templates pretty much at my fingertips. So what I'm gonna do is choose a template. I'm gonna choose this one right here. Click on use this template and I'm gonna stick to editor 2.0. Now that the template is open, what I'm gonna do is click right here. I'm gonna delete that. Click on this image, delete that. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna hit delete. Click on this, I'm gonna hit delete. Now what I'm gonna do is go over here to uploads, click to upload image, go over to desktop, and I'm gonna find that screenshot of that AirPods case. I'm gonna click on open. So I'm gonna click on it right here to the left. It's gonna bring it in, okay? So I'm gonna size it all the way up just like so now if you look right here to the right there's a button that says remove background I'm gonna click on that as you can see there's the preview I'm gonna click on done the background is removed you can easily click on this background right here to the right it says background color you can change the color of that as well okay you can change it to whatever color you want so if you want to do that click right here go to shape setting click on this blue you can change the color to whatever color you want okay now this 70% off you can leave it if you want could type something like get chores today click on that hit delete if you want to leave this you can okay you can size this all the way up if you want to add like an Instagram logo or a TikTok logo you can do that as well right so you can actually go right here where it says shapes and as you can see there's e-commerce platforms that you can actually choose right there's Shopify right there there's Amazon and we have social media and apps as well right here okay so if you're gonna upload this image on Shopify I mean you can actually put your Instagram logo in there okay you can bring that down if you want to bring your Facebook logo you can do that as well you could do so much with glorify right you want to add Twitter you can do that Add TikTok, you can do that as well okay you can size all this stuff down if you like I'm gonna click on that emoji just like so I'm gonna rotate it like this I can size that up bring that this way I can right click I'm gonna duplicate that bring that down just like so if you're satisfied with how your image looks you can come right here to this arrow you can download it as a PNG JPEG transparent whatever you like I'm gonna go for JPEG click on download I'm gonna go back over to Shopify I'm gonna click on products I'm gonna locate the AirPods case I'm gonna go right here where it says media click on add find that image I just downloaded click on open once I uploaded the image right here all I'm gonna do is just drag it and bring it right here now if I go to online store click on this eyeball and as you can see the image is right here okay you can actually leave it just like this or you can do it like that okay glorify is an amazing app for you to use to create high converting product images for your products okay
You can also use Canva to create some high converting product images as well. I will leave a link to Canva in the description as well so that way you can check it out if you like. So now that I got this Printful Shopify tutorial out the way, if you want to know the best way to promote your print on demand products, I highly recommend you check out this video right here. Best of all, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.